Hey, Chris, good morning to you. So it is going to be a hot one. It'll be feeling like summer out there this afternoon. This morning, though, it's fairly pleasant out the door. We're taking a, a live look outside, and we've got mostly clear skies, 52 degrees. Winds are out of the northeast at just three miles per hour. Do you want to talk pollen for today? Tree pollen is once again very high. Grass, ragweed, mold, and weeds are low, which is helpful, but that tree pollen is very high. Air quality today, generally speaking, just kind of moderate. So just be mindful of that because you may be enticed to spend a lot of time outside, but you do need to be careful. Your Skycast satellite and radar showing a little bit of cloud cover out there, and that's basically all we deal with through the daytime hours. We have a little bit of cloud cover in the mix right now, but generally speaking, we'll call it partly to mostly sunny skies through lunchtime. After that, we'll see the clouds increase. We're watching a warm front lift through the area, so it is ushering in that very warm air. Some may consider it hot. And then, of course, we're watching this area of low pressure and an associated cold front. Uh, we will see some unsettled weather as a result. So turning on your future cast, we go through this morning, and while we do stay mostly clear through early afternoon, we start to see the clouds increasing later this afternoon. And this evening, tonight, we'll have at least a chance to see some shower activity, possibly even a thunderstorm. So that's a possibility tonight. And then as we head into tomorrow, things start to cool down. We'll see more clouds in the mix. We are going to see more shower activity uh, on and off throughout your Thursday, and it will be more widespread. So more people will see rain on Thursday. Light for some, but we'll see some pockets of moderate, even heavy downpour throughout the day and night on Thursday. And then still some shower activity, potentially for your Friday with some breezy conditions as things dry, uh, cool down, excuse me, a little bit more. So as far as how much rain we get, well, this particular model showing maybe a quarter of an inch for a lot of locations, but then as we head north, we could see an inch and a half for places like Monticello, uh, almost an inch and a half for Newburgh, closer to two inches for Poughkeepsie. We'll see some whipping winds on Friday, so temperatures will be cooling down, and we'll see those winds picking up 35 to 40 mile, five mile an hour wind gusts, so things get a little interesting after today. But for today, we take this leap into summer, 85 degrees, partly sunny skies. And again, we do expect to stay dry during your daylight hours. It will be tonight. We'll see more clouds, a chance for showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Tonight, we dip down to about 64 degrees. Tomorrow will still be warm, but it will be uh, cloudy. And of course, we're expecting rain throughout the day. So enjoy this day if you can. And with that, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Elise, thank you.